Okay, let's see what we got from UPS today. A whole case, okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to Piston Cup Productions and I am really excited to unbox possibly the only good case of the year. I have not opened a case in over a year. So I ordered a case from Get Me Collectibles because this one is full of nostalgia. I mean, you have Damage the King, Lightning McQueen with his tongue out, McQueen when he crashed through Radiator Springs, you have Cars 1 characters galore, Cars 3 characters. It's just a box of nostalgia, so I had to get it. And I got it through Get Me Collectibles. His contact information is in the description of this video if you wanna order a case of these. But he also has them on his eBay store if I'm not mistaken. Um, para los que están viendo que hablan español, esta caja la agarré a través de un patrocinador de Mattel que recibe los productos que se llama Get Me Collectibles. Voy a poner su información de contacto en la descripción de este video y también su página de eBay donde pueden ordenar también las cajas selladas. Este, yo la compré, o sea, no me la mandó gratis, yo la tuve que comprar. Um, he didn't send this to me, I had to buy it out of my own pocket and I did also order this small one of mini racers, también ordené esa chiquita de los mini racers. Voy a hacer un video próximamente de ese, entonces quédense pendiente para ese review. Um, so I'll be doing that review soon as well, but today we're focusing on case H from 2022. Anywho, without further ado, let's crack this case open. I am very excited since I haven't opened one in over a year and this one actually has some die cast that I'm really excited to have. Well, here we have it the best case possibly of the year. So let's go ahead and crack this open, shall we? I got my pair of scissors here as always with me. Let's go ahead and cut this through. But you know what? I think I need a wider angle for this. So let's go ahead and switch the camera to a bit of a wider angle. There we go, that's much better. Hopefully this fisheye lens will succeed in this video today. Let's go ahead and, there we go, cut that open. I'm very hyped for this. I don't know what I'll be opening, but I do know that there are some that I for sure um, we'll be opening because of how amazing they are. Oh my goodness, there's two Damage the Kings. Okay, thank goodness. Yes, 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 yes. This is full of nostalgia for sure. There's even some Cars 2 stuff in here. Okay, well, let's go down the line from this row to this row. Or you know what? Let's start with this row because this is the good stuff everyone wants to see. So, first up, we have Damage the King from Cars 1 that was in the Race Rama series and it's been kind of difficult to find and expensive but now here he is as a re-release this year very nice and we will be for sure unboxing this one i'm very excited to see the re-release of bruce and yellow ramon and also charlie checkered with his flag or dexter hoover my bad with his checkered flag they re-released them quite a bit in 2020 and 2018 with different flags here's another great one it is keith cone or the camera hog fan from cars one who was predicted to be new this year and here she finally is i'll put an image right here to the right side of where she appears in the film there you go that is where she appears along with other characters that um, have been released before this year so far so it's pretty nice that mattel's releasing a lot of older piston cup fans from cars one in general we get two of her so that's amazing is it a he or a her I don't know what it is, but awesome that there's two of them. All right, next one we have is Cruiser Mirrors as Francis Beltline. This was leaked months ago, but it was Cruiser Mirrors with a fire can. And well, here is the fire can. It has been released before. It is nothing new. It used to come with the Demolition Derby vehicles, as you can see right here. The Walmart exclusive with the rubber tires. So we'll see how different her eyes are once we're done opening the whole case. And last in this row, we have Finish Line Lightning McQueen. Yeah, so incredible to see this guy from Thailand. He has been released from Vietnam and China before. Countless times from China, but here he is officially as the first time as a single on card art. I got mine back when I was a kid um, from a multi-pack. I think it was with The King and Chick. And then I don't know what happened to my original, but then I... Purchased them again from these Walmart puzzle boxes that were released around Valentine's Day. And that's when I got mine from China. So now we have the Thailand counterpart. Okay, starting with this row right here, we have a classic Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. Can't go wrong with him. I mean, of course, if you're going to have variations of McQueen in this case, it doesn't hurt to throw in some classic Cars 1 in there. 
And here we go with another cool character that sometimes peg warms, but is always nice to see. I mean, it's one of the classic characters. It is Fillmore. For some reason, his bubble does have this insert on the side right here. I'm guessing this is for Fillmore with the um, uh, the pit crew Fillmore that comes with his oil cans on the side attached to him. So it makes sense that they're just reusing the same bubble over and over. I don't blame them. Next vehicle we have is Derek Williams, who was new last year. For a second there, I thought it didn't have the microphone, and the microphone was just painted on now as a cardboard insert in the package. Let me just look physically. Yeah, I don't want to be tripping here. So yeah, re-release of a new vehicle from 2021. Might keep that one because, you know, it never hurts to have extra camera crew for the Piston Cup since, you know, they tend to be animated hundreds of times throughout the background. More Piston Cup fans from Cars 1, Brad Windmiller. And I did order the Chinese counterpart and opened it in an ASMR video recently. So here he is from Thailand. We'll see just how different he is. I can already see that the eyes are different, but you know, doesn't hurt to check. Next up at the end of this row, we have Timothy Two Stroke. Don't really care about this one. Um, it's been released countless times in China and Thailand form. Not rare at all. Not really that special. Although for some people, it is a good one to grab if you haven't had them already. Here's a new one for me. I haven't got this one before yet. Here I finally have Sudeep with VR headset. Mistakenly labeled as Sudeep, but he is Jay. I'll show you later who Sudeep actually is. But Sudeep is a completely different color from this vehicle. All right, next row we have Wasabi Mouth Mater, who I got from Thailand in 2020. And now here he is once again in 2022. I don't have Artist Ramon. It would have been nice if he came in this case. Maybe I'll find him in store. But um, so far, this case hasn't been found in stores at all. I've been looking for it in stores and I haven't found it. So that's why I decided to just get it online because it's going to be a while before it arrives to my local targets and such. Here we have a classic Sally. You can't go wrong with a classic Sally. Screams Nostalgia, Screams 2006. I don't think we have a classic Mater here, however, for this case. Here's another semi-new one, Mel Dorado, a completely new Thailand variant for the first time. God, it looks hideous, enough said. But we'll for sure look at that one in more detail compared to the China one. <laughs> Spin Hot Lightning McQueen. I always tend to chuckle when I see this one because of how goofy it is, but yet, you know, pulled out straight from the movie. Interesting how it says, as seen in Cars, but yet we have this character from Cars 3 on there. Ah, uh, typical Mattel. I love how this McQueen looks on this card art. Finish line McQueen, however, I'm not a big fan how they use that tongue McQueen artwork. And when I first saw this, I thought that this was a straight up piece of white from a JPEG or PNG file that they just clip art this and they left a white spot untouched. But then you look closer and it's just the light year text spinning. I was about to be like, lazy Mattel, it looks like you just slapped a sticker on there and there's still some white residue from the PNG file left on there. But no, that's not the case. Luckily. <laughs> Here we got Jambalaya Chimichanga. I don't know if I have this one in Chinese um, without uh, rubber tires. I need to check. Because I think I do have the rubber tire version, but not the classic one. So this might be new for me. Despite me seeing it several times in stores and passing on it. I'm just realizing now. Um, here is Strip Weathers aka The King. Of course, you can't have a damaged king without the classic one. These are going to contrast very well on the shelves, on the pegs, I can already imagine. I can imagine that the Damage King is obviously going to be the more popular one though. That one's going to possibly uh, fly off the shelves. But good on Mattel's part for including two of them in the case and not just one. Good call. I think they should have included two of Tongue McQueen also, or Finish Line McQueen. Lee Race. There's two of them in here. And I also did recently get this one for an ASMR video as well. So I'm starting to regret all of these vehicles I purchased on eBay for those ASMR videos. Because Mattel's re-releasing them in Thailand form now. But, of course, we'll still compare them. For comparison's sakes. And, of course, you can count this as a Thailand versus China unboxing. So I'll add that to my playlist. I haven't done a Thailand versus China in a while. Here is Sarge. Also from Thailand. Marked under Cars 1. And I don't think I have a classic Sarge either. I might have to check that as well. 
And here's another good one. Cars to McQueen. You can't go wrong with this one. One of my favorite paint jobs for sure. What's that on his eye plate? I need to take it off camera for this. Seems like a piece of cardboard is stuck inside the vehicle next to his eye plate. Hmm. Quality control from Mattel at its finest, huh? All right. Next we have Marlin Clutches McKay. I have way too many of these already. And strangely enough, the bubble <laughs> is in the shape of Louise Barnstormer Nash. So we're getting Louise pretty soon. Good to know. I like how Mattel's reusing a lot of these bubbles for completely different characters. And last but not least, of course, we have Rusty's Cruz Ramirez. Um, enough of this one, Mattel. I would like to see Dinoco Cruz Ramirez be re-released or even the classic one. Okay, very well. So let's begin with the ones that we're actually going to unbox in this case unboxing. We're going to begin with a very controversial one being Mel Dorado, mainly because of the color difference and how goofy he looks. When I first saw the image of this guy, I honestly thought he was a color changer or one of those basic Mattel line figures, but it was kind of obvious that it was a Thailand release because of the eye plate. And I was really disappointed. And looking at it in person, uh probably up there with thailand's worst ones mel dorado's image looks very nice up there with the car's logo but does that cutter kind of match up on camera it looks like it does match up but in person not really on the back of the packaging it does at least say cars 2 and yeah francesco otis sarge well i know sarge technically is from cars 2 but not with that classic look it would have been nice if they had the 95 painted on there and re-released those lee race of course is from cars 2 same with this emo chick Artist Ramon and Wasabi Mouth Mater. I wonder if they're ever going to re-release the classic pit crew with McQueen's 95 on the side. Anywho, let's go ahead and unbox Mel Dorado. All right, there he is in comparison to his Chinese counterpart. And let me tell you something, it's very strange seeing these two together super completely different colors you might even think that they're different characters there is another character based off of tex dinoco which is dex and he is in red and that is kind of the same energy that i'm getting from these guys now i will give thailand credit where it's due and one piece of credit that i will give them is that the glasses are actually kind of clean on this one unless mine's just really grubby and old but the glasses are actually kind of clean here and another thing is his eyes are actually positioned within the frame with this chinese counterpart the eyes look extremely jerpy and tiny they look like they're looking at the center of his glasses instead of you know the actual lenses through so i will give them credit for the eyes the eyes definitely do look um kind of nice the positioning not the eyebrows though or the eyelids it looks like he's just calm whereas in cars 2 he was more determined with that sort of expression that he has on the chinese counterpart i mean the artwork has it itself See, he's got like a sort of determined expression. I mean, he's a reporter. He's got to look determined. So overall, meh of a vehicle, not the best. I mean, if you don't have the character, sure, go for it. But if you have your original, I might just advise you to stick to that one. There's not much going on with this new one besides kooky eyes and a smaller lic uh, license plate printing for the text. Yeah, one of Thailand's worst so let's go ahead and put this guy off to the side and now we're going to go on with let's see let's choose one of the new ones keith cone from cars one very nice image as you can see right there is just a minivan sort of mom car that's what i like to call it let's go ahead and unbox it it's in a sort of like a brownish not burgundy color almost like a burgundy color but yeah it's strange how they they are not marking them as new for 2022 like they did with the mater and mcqueen 2 pack i wonder why they're doing this maybe they just straight up forgot what they're releasing that's new but luckily the collectors know what's new but now the scalpers don't know what's new <laughs> so it's a win-win scenario or yeah it's a win-win scenario because only the true collectors now will know what the real new stuff is and the scalpers won't so hopefully this is a sign that we'll actually see new cars on the pegs made in thailand it's got some weight to it it kind of reminds me of mini and van combined into one happy race fan and i do love how the mouth is in carved in you can actually you know i'm putting my finger in there because 
the detail went above and beyond for the mouth. It's painted in nicely. The teeth are painted in. I love the expression they gave it as well. Looking off to its right, our left. Plastic rearview mirrors, a plastic um, rails at the top of the roof. It's got these three dots on the back windows on both sides. It is transparent looking, so you kind of can see inside. Kind of like Lightning McQueen's um, window bars at the back. That's the vibe I'm getting. So yeah, it's classic little minivan. Nothing much to say, but it's a very nice character to have for the background now of Cars uh, dioramas. All right, so let's move on now with, uh, let's see, we did Cars 2, Cars 1. Well, let's do a Cars 3 vehicle, shall we? Francis Beltline. I love the image they gave it. Very nice and huge. It does take up a lot of the image on the artwork. Cars 3. Barry the pedals coming soon. Leakless as well, intersection. Um, for some reason, they put the King and Murray Clutchburn from Cars 3, Cars 1, my bad, on there. See, the King, I can understand. Yes, he's from Cars 3, but with a headset would have been nice. Um, let's bring out the China counterpart. Let's see here. I'm not sure if I'm going to open it. I'm trying to see if it really is worth opening. It looks to be the same exact thing. The 95 right there looks a little bit more vibrant, but I can't even read that it says Rusty's Racing Center. I can barely even read that. Yeah, not too much going on with this one. The license plate looks a little bit more dirty on the Thailand one. It does have a matte finish from the looks of it. It looks glossy because of the blister, but I can tell that it is a matte finish, so at least that's remained. The eyes look a little bit closer together and her eyebrows are a little bit lowered. Hmm. Yeah, probably not gonna open this one. It's almost the exact same thing. I kinda like the original more, just because of the eyes. These are a little bit too close together in my opinion. I don't know why, this was the perfect opportunity for them to give her that expression right there of a scared look. And that would have made her more memorable and new, don't you think? So that's enough for Cruise. And now let's move on to something from Cars 1. We're going to look at Spin Out Lightning McQueen. And I don't know if this one's any different. Before we open it, let's take a look with the Chinese counterpart. Uh, excuse mine for being covered in dust. Oh, don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Okay, so the wires are... 3D, like I can run my finger through them and I can feel the wires on the queen's body. Well, when I'm looking at this one, it looks like they just straight up painted the wires on McQueen. It looks like they are just painted on instead of separately applied and 3D like this Chinese original counterpart. Okay, I'm not a big fan of that. He has the hole for meter to tow him at the front but not at the back. And when that makes sense, because he's got these posts of wood hanging from behind. Maybe if they gave him a matte finish, it would have been a little bit more different. Um, I'm looking at the eyes here. They look to be the same. Obviously now the Thailand one has eyeliner. The Rusty's logo is a little bit thinner at the spoiler. A little smaller, I should say. Um, yeah, not much different. It's just the fact that now we've lost that 3D look to the wires. The race, any different? We're about to find out. Just the eyes. Yeah, just the eyeliner. Almost the same color. This one looks like a little bit more of a creamish color. But yeah, it's the same thing. We're getting to the good stuff, however. Let's move on with something from Cars 3. Sudeep with VR headset. Okay, let me tell you this. Sudeep is this character right here from Cars 3. Number 83. I mean, yeah, 83. Color yellow. You can't miss it. J with headset is the vehicle that you're actually purchasing. It's like this sort of bluish purple. Number 94. Yeah, see the number 94 is painted on the artwork right there on the vehicle. Number 94 on the actual die cast. Number 94 on the classic version. So it's a variation of this character. 
So let's go ahead and unbox this one. I am excited for this one. I have been looking forward to this one. <laughs> the cable would have been nice if they included... Oh, they did include the cable. Only halfway, though. It's like they cut it in half. Very unique blister design indeed. Yeah, it's a very complex looking blister. It has all of these like separate little cuts and dips and arches. It makes you think if it was beneficial for Mattel to make these chunky blisters instead of just, you know, making it complete. Save yourself some time, but I don't know. I'm not Mattel. Who am I to judge? Ooh, okay. I like this one. He's got a smiling expression. Very nice. A lot different to his very disappointed expression do they come off no they do not i am curious to see if he's got eyes underneath this but i don't think he does yeah i don't think he has un any eyes underneath this i think they're just painted in black because i'm looking in person and i don't see any eyes they're just painted black that's kind of creepy yeah this doesn't come off yeah, but the eyes are definitely painted in black. See, if I remove this, that's just painted in black to sort of blend in. So the eyes have been painted in completely black. That's kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. I like the look of this guy, though. It's very unique. It's something different for the Cars franchise, something we haven't seen before. Now we just need the other trainee that appears in that scene with a VR headset, and we got a Movie Moments 2-pack. Not like Mattel will do it, though. I don't think they have the... Big enough brain to do it. All right, we're down to our last three from Cars 1. A good way to end it off. Brad Windmiller. Is it just the eyes? It seems to be just the eyes. Yep, just the eyes. Off to the side you go, buddy. Actually, while I'm at it, I do have out here with me Wasabi Mouth Mater. So I'll take a quick look at him. That's the same thing. Yeah, they're both from Thailand. Nothing's changed. All right, let's do... You know what? Let's do Damage the King. Because I know people are itching to see this one. All right, so Damage the King. Amazing to see once again after so many years. The artwork looks great. He's got a sad expression on his artwork, but the actual vehicle has a different smiling expression. Very nice, definitely a pickup, even though if you have the original Chinese counterpart, I don't think the value of the original is going to decrease simply because this one is different. Look at the eyes. He has a calm expression now instead of the worried expression. And there's the mouth. Here he had a very sad looking mouth and kind of a, a little humble grin, like a small little smile. Here he actually has a nice grin. Like he looks proud at Lightning McQueen. He's like, good job, kid. You did a good job. The dirt looks fantastic as well. Looks a lot darker. I do like this one, however, as well. The dirt here looks nicely spread out. Here's a lot more smudge-like. It almost looks like he's covered in ash. But I think they did a really good job with this guy overall. And I actually like how this tire is more visible now than the original. The original was more dented in if that makes sense now it's a lot more visible i kind of do like that it would be cool if he had suspension like a tomiko vehicle the spoiler is darker i do like that actually that it's darker looks a bit more movie accurate now the biggest shock and i wasn't aware of this until danica blue 43 a good friend of mine told me he received his and he told me about the new Mater. And I was like, well, what does the new Mater have to do with the king? And then I looked. Dun, dun, dun. He has the punch holes for Mater to carry him. Now, <laughs> I don't know what alternate universe. <laughs> I don't know what alternate universe this happened in. Maybe they are planning to re-release the tow truck Tom from Cars 1 to have this feature like Mater. And that's why they're doing this punch hole thing for the king. But then again, who was the one who pushed the king in the first place? That's right, Lightning McQueen. So <laughs> it's kind of goofy, but you know, I like it. You know, it's, it's something different. I'm not gonna shoot it down. Uh, it's the thought that counts, I guess. Yeah, unnecessary. But it kind of works. It shocked me when I heard that this was a thing. They are really going all out with this Mater compatibility. Because now we have 
every single Lightning McQueen to exist and the king along with Otis. That's fantastic. All right, so amazing look at the king. I'm really hoping that they'll do a damaged Lightning McQueen and Doc Hudson sometime this year or maybe next year. I really want to see it happen. If they're bringing back Damage the King, there's no doubt they have to do it anytime soon with the other characters like McQueen and Doc. Maybe even Damage Mood Springs, but that one's more of a slimmer chance. The way I think I'm going to personally look out for to see if more damaged cars are going to come out, and I think you guys can do this too. This is what I've always lived by. If it comes out as a mini racer, it's going to come out as a 155 scale die cast. A few months ago, the mini racer of Damage King came out, Bam, we got the 155 scale re-release. So think of it that way. That's what I've been doing for about a few years now, since 2018, and I've almost always been right about it. It happened with Fair Game, and now here it's happening with Damage the King. So just keep an eye out for that. If they release a Damage Mini Racer of Lightning McQueen, or Damage Doc Hudson, or Damage Mood Springs, you best be hyped because they're probably gonna do it in 155 scale. Without further ado, let's conclude this video unboxing with Finish Line Lightning McQueen. So, I will put an image right here to the left of the Vietnam counterpart. I couldn't find it for some reason in my room, but I have reviewed that one for sure in a past video of the 11 pack that it's included, exclusive to Target. So yeah, there you have a look at all three of them together. The Vietnam one is probably the worst one because of the undetailed tires. And because of the fact that the mouth plate was a completely different uh, look. The mouth plate didn't match up with the colors. But you know what? I am going to unbox this one, actually. And I'll show you guys why in just a bit. But there's the back. Looks like we're getting a re-release of this Transforming McQueen. Let's get to it. So the reason why I'm even unboxing this guy. Two reasons. Number one, he does look different. Number two... He just looks awesome. <laughs> Valid enough, huh? All right. First reason why I think he looks different and awesome. Unibody. No more mouth play. But I can see in person. I don't know if it catches on camera. Physically, I can see where the mouth plate used to be marked on this casting. Where it would end. But now it's a unibody. And it looks so much better. So I will give props to Thailand for that. And I do like the look that they gave the eyes. The eyeliner actually works for this guy. It makes him pop out even more. The eye plate actually works in favor for this vehicle, in my opinion. Sure, the text of Rusty's is smaller on the back, but, you know, it's no biggie. I would prefer this one, but it's whatever. On the sides, taking a look at the rims, it is a little bit disappointing how we've downgraded from the super detailed rims from cars one china counterpart to this 2022 lackluster rim undetailed monstrosity of i don't know what you even call this it's not even yeah i miss these details thailand and uh, vietnam have unfortunately not been detailing these back rims that should be really fucked up and messed up just like the chinese counterpart now the other reason why i unbox this guy is because Mater punch hole. Again, <laughs> I don't know what alternate universe this happens in where McQueen knew Mater when he had his accident in Cars 1, but isn't this just one of the most bizarre things you've ever seen? It's like you have Mater dragging McQueen and all you see is McQueen sticking out his tongue. Bizarre, but you know what? I think I'll allow it. <laughs> Again, just like the king, it's the thought that counts. They didn't have to put that punch hole in there, but they did. And I'm kind of grateful that they did because, you know, it adds to the continuity of having a punch hole on every McQueen this year and other characters that we haven't even seen made or toe before. Yeah, so not bad at all. I am a fan of this new Lightning McQueen. Not bad at all. If you see it and you don't have him, definitely pick him up. If you see him and you do have him, I still think you should pick him up. He looks great. Um, another thing I do not like... Uh, besides the rims is that the fact that we now have these regular placed tires they are in normal form whereas the chinese counterpart had them spread out crookedly because that's how he looked exactly in the movie and i'll put a picture right here he had his tires crooked looking because he stretched out towards the finish line sticking out his tongue minor detail but 
it didn't carry on to Thailand, unfortunately. And I don't think it carried on to Vietnam either. But yeah, overall, I do like it. It's a 7 out of 10 for me. Could have been worse. Could have been better. But it's definitely not as bad as Vietnam. So I sort of ranked them here from favorite to least favorite. Favorite being the king and least favorite being the new Mel Dorado. But you go ahead and let me know which one was your favorite. I can tell you right now, I think I already know who everyone's favorite is going to be. But yeah, definitely a solid case. Um, it could have been better. I would have liked to see a classic mater in there to sort of complement the wasabi mater wherever I left them. Overall, a solid case though. I don't have any complaints really about it. Some great variety in there. And you know, some other good vehicles that we unbox as well. Supposedly no one's seen them. So people are just buying them through third party tellers. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. Pissico Production signing out. And I will see you guys next time. And stay tuned for the Mini Racers unboxing. I will see you in that review essentially.